Coming back with a live picture from Kennedy Space Center. The countdown is on this afternoon uh, for the launch of the Artemis 1 rocket. Now this is the second attempt to send the rocket into space after Monday's launch had to be scrubbed. ABC's Morgan Norwood is live at Cape Canaveral with a preview. Good morning, Morgan. Hey, good morning, Tony, Michelle uh, from Kennedy Space Center. You see the SLS rocket right behind me. The countdown clock set to get underway pretty shortly. NASA is still keeping a close eye on the weather, but if there's any good news, we just heard that crews uh, will start tanking in just a second. So that gives us an idea that this mission is moving along as planned. Standing 36 stories high and aimed toward the sky, NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS rocket, is ready for liftoff. The clocks at Kennedy Space Center counting down once again for a second launch attempt for Artemis 1, an uncrewed test flight that will fly around the moon and back over the next 37 days. With a little guarded uh, optimism, uh, we're, we're set to go this weekend. Monday's first attempt was scrubbed in the final hour because of a cracked vent valve in an inner tank and a bad engine sensor. Since then, NASA crews have worked around the clock to make repairs, and they say they're feeling confident. Right now, team has really just done a fantastic job getting us out of launch attempt number one, repairing all the issues, and getting us into a safe configuration. The Artemis program is designed to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon by the end of the decade. Anne McLean is on the short list for one of the crewed missions. Our long-term big goal is going to Mars, exploring places that we've never been before. Landing on the South Pole of the Moon is going to test and develop technologies and teams um, that will enable that future mission. So once fueling begins later on this morning, we know that the launch team will test the engines once again. They're doing it a little bit earlier in the countdown, but I've got a very special face with me this morning, a familiar face to all of our ABC viewers, transportation, geo, transportation correspondent, our space nerd in chief. <laughs> yes. Geo Benito. That, that title has stuck a little bit, right? Yes. The space nerd. Yes, it's sticking. What can we expect later on this morning? We know that you're going to have uh, an update for GMA. Yeah, you know, one of the great things is we're watching that weather, but right now it's looking really nice and clear and I just checked the update from Space Force meteorologists and they basically say that at some point during that two hour window we're going to have an 80 percent good weather opportunity right there right. so that's really good and so we're going to be watching that and like you said in your piece the sensor they've been watching the sensor at least the engines seem to be okay according to NASA so fingers crossed fingers crossed that yeah. everything lifts off as planned and if, if things don't take off as planned Monday is the next launch window but we are live from Kennedy Space Center Morgan Norwood ABC's Gio Benitez back to you guys <laughs> thank you Morgan and Gio what a nice surprise fantastic hello to you both